Hey guys, what's going on? Rob from clicksgeek.com and in today's video I'm going to run through two separate high converting landing pages, how we design them and why they work. Okay, so what you're looking at right now is inside a live Google Ads campaign for one of our partners and you're looking at March 1st to March 31st, uh, basically before COVID really exploded. So this is the baseline for everything and it's a Texas foundation repair client. Total spend was where we got $3,600 in March, 32 leads, $114 a lead, 40% conversion rate. So that's proof right here. We, we know what we're doing, okay? These pages convert. Now, I do have to say, so before you, I show you the page, all of these leads are mobile, okay? We are actually negative bidding 100% for tablet and desktop traffic. So what you're looking at, all the conver conversion rates you're looking at is mobile because we're not really in the game of getting contact form submissions we have those on the landing page as i'll show you but it's not something we want because they don't really convert that high they're hard to get a hold of versus somebody who actually just calls into this guy's company and was like hey i, I got a foundation crack i got any repair any waterproofing any whatever so these the contact forms they got to chase these guys down and it's kind of a pain in the ass so we try to drive only phone calls to all of our clients so that's important to keep in mind so let me walk you through this guy's campaign real quick you can see here he's spending about 250 a day. He is getting 4300 in, in March he got 4300 impressions, he got 80 clicks, 1.8% click through rate, which is not that great. I, we probably should be doing better with that. Average cost per click is 4565. Total spend as I said was $3650. Total conversions for March 32. Cost per conversion, $114, conversion rate 40%. Now, something to keep in mind, these 32 leads, one of these jobs is worth so much money if they have to repair a foundation or excavate a whole basement and do or do whatever to, to steady a foundation. These are big, big ticket jobs. So they don't really need many of these leads to convert. So keep that in mind when you're uh, when you're looking at this. If if one of these leads turns into a deal for the client which multiple do a month anyway, but if one of them turns into a deal, their positive ROI is much, much higher than 3651 plus our fee. Okay, way bigger. Now let's look at the page that's driving these results. You can see here, really simple logo, call to action, get a free estimate with a click to call phone number. Then we have city name, number one foundation repair company, specializing in then we come down here to our image box where we put an authentic image, not stock photography, okay? So right here you would put a picture of your crew or uh, of your van out at a job or job site picture, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Request a free estimate. Fill out the form to request your estimate. We'll call you back in 24 hours of schedule. Name, email, phone. Request estimate. Another call to action to call right here. Then we have a testimonial here. Now, we actually are in the process of phasing this part out because we're replacing it with social proof. Now, what do I mean by social proof? Social proof, we just mean images or screenshots of actual customer reviews from Yelp or Angie's List, Facebook, Google, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Those are much higher trust signals than just a straight up text testimonial box. People don't really trust those anymore. And I mean, you can't really blame them. Next, we come down. We have a little blurb about the company. So we have here about two paragraphs about the company, where they're located, what they do, and then a list of all their services. Very important that you list out every service they provide. Then we have another authentic team picture here or whatever. Come down here to the final call to action. Foundation repair and installation services. We specialize in another just to reinforce everything they do. Because we want to, no matter what the person lands on the page for, for foundation repair, we want to make sure we're covering it in this landing page copy. That's really important. Then we hit them with one, two, three authentic pictures. Final call to action. Get a free estimate by calling us at phone numbers. Click the call, obviously, for mobile. Come down here. Privacy policy. Add extension number and company name. And that's really it for the foundation repair. Now, the mobile version is the same as this, just condensed. I don't have that open right now, but I'm going to show you the pest control, which converts at 30%, and I do have that mobile uh, version open so you guys can take a look. So give me one second here. All right, so now we're going to go into, found, or I'm sorry, we're going to go into pest control. All right, so here is the desktop version of pest control. Top header is just three benefits. 
then we'd come down to the logo main call to action plus click to call number here then we come over here to the main header which is top rated pest control company surveying city name that's really important that you put city name in here and surrounding areas we come down here we do three authentic images we come down here we got a little three benefit or bullet points you can put here whatever you want to do content block about the company but where they're located what they're what they do whatever about them and then this is really important we do pests we can help with here's we want to list every single pest they remove because no matter what someone lands on this page for whether it's you know pest removal ants pest removal bees wasps whatever possible i don't know you want to make sure that they're coming here they're going to be coming here for for a specific reason a specific pest so the more pests you have listed here the more chances are the more fishing nets you're going to have out there to grab these people and really reel them in and get them to call you that's really important and a closing block of content right here just a paragraph or something and then over here we usually do images of the pests so we'll do four on top four on bottom something simple we come back up here to the form request a free estimate click the call inside the form here name phone email type of pests you have you can do a drop down box or you can just leave a text box like we do keep it optional to let them fill it out three more benefits a little blurb about the company corporate headquarters this is really important you want to make sure that this is just a big trust signal when someone sees this they're, okay they're a legitimate address this is a legitimate business so it's important that you have that call to schedule your estimate so another click to call that's the final click to call and then this is also really important areas we serve list every single city you serve even zip codes if you want whatever the more the better that's the way you're going to cover it. now the only thing this page is missing is a privacy policy which i probably should have had on here but i think i deleted it so we would put that right here so we usually do 2020 company name privacy policy then this number which is usually an ad extension number for google ads so that's really it for this now let's walk through the mobile version of this so if we come into our landing page builder which we use instapage.com for i'll put a link for free trials you can play around with their software it's really really easy drag and drop everything is really cool and if you want to learn more about instapage i do have tutorial videos on instapage on our channel just go to playlists all right come up here we'll go to mobile version and you can see here we can just move around adjust whatever we need so obviously this would be a logo not just text but we just want to organize everything nice and neat and centered and make the the call to action just huge here that's i would actually probably even go a little bigger so let's try 41 there we go we want this to be the first thing they see the just the click to get help call for a free pest removal estimate so you're just hitting them right you're hitting them right in the face as soon as they land on the mobile version and that's just so it's really important and then we get them with our our headline here that reinforces hey we were in your city like we help people in your city then you hit them right here with three authentic pictures of your crew out in the city doing jobs doing whatever and um, that's that's pretty much it you can just see the layout here we have the contact form down here so most people will put the contact form right at the top we don't want that okay we want them to call so that's the most important thing and then we want to just inform them we want to give them our authentic pictures we want to tell them about our company then we want to tell them about all the pests we removed. This is methodically laid out like this, okay? This is not an accident. So we tell them about all the pests we removed. Then we'll do a, a final paragraph here about how we can help them. And then it comes down to the form. So they're so by the time if they're on a scroll, they're just reading through everything. By the time they get to, if they don't, just automatically click the call. By the time they get down scrolling, they're gonna be all warmed up and they're gonna be ready to either click this call, click this to call in the form, or they're just gonna fill out the form. <laughs> And that's all laid out like that for a reason. Lots and lots and lots of A-B testing has went into this style. And I'm just going to give it to you for free. Okay. And now I'm going to show you how it actually converts at over 30%. Which I think is like a tiny bit over, but I'll take it. <laughs> all right. So let's go into the partner account here. And you can see it's pest and wildlife. $100 a day budget. It's a good budget for pest control. Last 30 days, which was March 31st to April 29th, today is actually, okay, today's April 30th. So this is uh, March 31st to yesterday, April 29th. <clears throat> $100 a day, 98 clicks, 3,400 impressions, 2.8%, 2.87% click-through rate. Average cost per click was $41. 
Total cost was $4,094 for that month. Total leads, 30. Cost per lead, 136. And the total conversion rate, 30%. Now, I'm extremely happy with this conversion rate. Um, cost per conversion is a little high. I, ideally, I want that under 100 bucks, But I'm pretty sure this account is... Um, is uh is higher because we're including the wildlife stuff and pest control in an ideal world where the client will let us i would take pest control and only run pest control and then separate wildlife into its own separate campaign and that's wildlife just it can get more expensive so i want to break those up but the client doesn't want to do that so we you know you know how it goes guys we do what the client wants us to do but 30 percent conversion rate i am okay with that that works now that's the last 30 days. I'm pretty sure these guys are new, but let me see if I can do last month. Yeah, last the first month was going at 27%. And you can see the cost per the cost per conversion was 192. So we've been working on whittling that down. And that's what it started out at on March 18th was the first day of the campaign running. So now we've gotten it more dialed in. And you can see the conversion rates up, cost per conversion is down conversion volumes up so it's all about a b testing all right that's the, the most important thing i can I, the takeaway from this video should be for you guys is there's actually two things so the first one is design your landing pages for mobile mobile is where the conversion rates are you want phone calls you do not want form submissions okay really really important the second thing is to try to a b test everything all right don't just build a page and then run traffic to it and be like, oh man, it's not working, my conversion rate sucks or whatever, blah, blah, blah. This is a thing that takes time, okay? This is not, you gotta A-B test everything. And and another thing I should probably say is just because you have a high converting landing page doesn't mean if the traffic is dog shit that you're sending to it, it doesn't matter, it's irrelevant, the page is gonna tank horribly, okay? So that's something to keep in mind. Like this campaign, this pest control campaign is super dialed in. Like these are exact match keywords for people looking for pest control, uh, pest control removal in city name, pest control removal in zip code. And then the ads all say pest removal, removal control, whatever, pest removal in city name, zip code. So they're all the ads. The message match has to be good or else your pages will not convert. That is that is the most important takeaway that you should take from this video is that your marketing message match has to carry through all the way to the close of the sale or the call or whatever, the lead. That is the most important thing. So your keywords should go to relevant ads. The relevant ads should go to a relevant landing page. And you're just taking why they're searching, the problem they're searching, you're taking that and you are solving it with your ad and your landing page. That is how you get these high conversion rates. All right, biggest takeaway. Sorry, I'm rambling. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. There should be a little red box at the bottom right of this video. Subscribe button. Please hit that. And if you're interested in learning more about creating high converting landing pages, we do have a course called Landing Page Academy. I will drop a link to that in the description below this video along with some other things. Besides that, guys, I will see you in the next video.